Hey folks, we've got two things on the video agenda this evening. We'll deliver some notes about an incredible piece of evidence, and we'll show a tiny preview from our new book. We'll begin with the incredible piece of evidence in last night's video about this absurd structure in the middle of nowhere. We had mentioned the Texas rock wall, and upon checking, it looks like that video of mine was taken down because the History Channel made a copyright claim. So here's the scoop. It's a 20 square mile enclosure with walls 70 feet high and it's completely buried under the ground. It has clear cut stonework, footholds for climbing, and large scale picture here shows straight line walls, geometric shapes, much as you'd expect to find in an ancient construction. But many scientists want you to believe the Texas rock wall is a natural formation, and they cite isotope dating that goes back 70 million years which is of course absurd and fortifies the concept that sometimes their isotope dating methods are useless. It couldn't be more obvious from the stonework or the geometry of the enclosure that it is in fact man-made. It's a shame that they took that video of mine down, but more of a shame that if you look up the Texas rock wall, the search engines plug the nonsense stories. Alas, it is an amazing rabbit hole to descend if you can find the right information. The other thing I wanted to do was show this graphic from the new book, showing the ongoing and predicted decline of the magnetic field protection of Earth and the ongoing magnetic pole shift and geomagnetic excursion. The black stars are the official data they have given us. The purple star is the best bet for where we were as of 2020, where the line goes from red, official data, to orange, projections. It's a simple delta over time, the rate of change and change in the rate of change, the acceleration of the shift. Not only does the math give us this tipping point curve with a scary outcome in the next two decades, but the two most important studies on these magnetic shifts tell us, first, they can happen in as little as 80 years, which means we are already in the danger zone given that our current one has been ongoing for more than 160 years. Second, when these reversals kick into the highest gear, they are changing 100 times faster than Earth's magnetic field was changing in the 1900s. Both of those support this math-derived curve in terms of how long these excursions should take and how fast the decline will begin to be when it really kicks into gear. While long cron magnetic reversals don't appear to be as deadly to the life on Earth, these magnetic excursions, the rapid flips, certainly do, with major hits to the biosphere and extinctions due to rapid climate shifting, enhanced space radiation, and the triggering of volcanoes. There is also the crust destabilization, massive tsunamis, and sedimentation, like what buried the 70-foot-tall edifices of the Texas rock wall. For more detailed information, please see the resources linked in the description box below the video. For those in the know, this curve is real, supported by the actual data and by the two most important studies on Earth's geomagnetic changes. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.